Hey guys, Elite Asics here with another video and today I have for you a two round strategy for the gold, formerly stone, skillet and keyboard slam and fire. Now this strategy is 99% foolproof and it's very flexible and very easy to follow. So we'll waste no more time, I'll show you everyone's decks and I'll show you the footage at the end to talk you guys through the footage and hopefully you will learn something and be able to farm this boss really easily and efficiently for your spellments, for burning rampage. Uh, DNI, Handsome Fomori, Catalan, and of course, now Sacred Charge, which is what I wanted to do it for anyway. So I thought I'd share the strategy with you guys. So let's waste no more time and I will show you the first person's deck and we'll go from there. So I'll see you all in a second. Okay, guys, so for the first person's deck, I have a myth. Uh, you can also use Fire or you can use any school and pack this as a TC. It doesn't matter. It will make your life easier though if you do have a stun. It's not necessary, but I would highly recommend it. So, on the first round, this person is going to stun all of the mobs. Accuracy is key. That's one of the ways that you can fail if you know you do fizzle the stun, but it's not a massive problem. And on the second round, they are going to mass vein. It's important that this happens on the second round because it will just make it so much easier if all the mobs are stunned and they don't get a turn. Now, you don't actually need mass faint to do this. You can swap it out for other alternatives. You can't use normal faint or even protected faint, but you can swap it out for another trap if no one in your team has mass faint. The first three people on the team, their cards really are flexible. So if you're if you got a friend who's a myth, he doesn't have mass faint, it, it doesn't matter. Um, they you know they can swap out and do a trap, and you can do mass faint if you have it. But ultimately, you don't actually really need it, but it does make it a lot easier if you do. So I will recommend you carrying it if you can. So for the second person's deck, it's just, again, traps. Two elemental traps. Now, like I say, um, it doesn't really matter what traps you bring. Uh, you can't actually bring universal traps, so don't bring hex or curse. But I'm also deaf, I'm looking at you, TCs as well. But if you bring two elemental traps or spirit traps, if you're hitting with someone who's a myth or a death... Uh, I wouldn't really recommend hitting with life, but, you know, if you want to, you can. I don't know if you'll kill in two rounds, though. But, yeah, two traps, make sure they're different, and you all need to communicate with each other before you start, obviously, to make sure that you don't all bring the same traps. But I will just put these ones in as a placeholder for person two. Okay, guys, for the third person's deck, I have two TC traps. I've got Storm Trap and Elemental Trap. Now, it doesn't really matter, again... Um, if you don't have these to hand, you can get them from the Arcanum. As long as they're all different traps, it does not matter. And as long as they're not universal traps. So as you can see, Storm Trap and Elemental Trap. Obviously, if you have a Death, do the sensible thing, being Spirit Trap and Death Trap instead. Because you don't want to be using the wrong traps, obviously. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, you've just said all of the traps and I don't have Mass Faint, so what am I going to do? Well, let me tell you. You can go to the Bazaar, you can buy amulets, I don't have any to hand, but there are going to be ones, or gear from Azteca or anything, even Crown's gear, or pets. Look around, get yourself an item card trap for the skull of the person that is hitting, and you will work wonders. It will be a good replacement, and you know, if your hitter is strong enough, you don't actually even need to do anything, because I made the mistake once of passing without doing mass faint, and I still killed anyway, but my storm is like, very well built, you know, I'm talking like, near perfect gear, so... Bear that in mind, the more traps you can get on the better, and obviously Mass Faint will be your best bet if you do have it. Okay guys, and for the last person that hit his deck, I am showing it from a Storm perspective, because that's what we use in this video. But, as I say, if you do use a Death, it's Scarecrow, if you use a Myth, it's Orpheus. Frenzy, I really do recommend it if you are a hitting score, or you, you know, you prefer yourself as a hitter, do get this, take time, use the uh, spell points. Get this spell because it does buff your damage extra 15% compared to what like a galvanic field is going to do. So definitely get your hands on this because it's very useful. And that's pretty much it. Also guys, if you don't have any traps and you can't find any item cards, I just forgot to mention, you can do a protected elemental blade. It has to be protected. And as long as your hero is not a fire, which they really shouldn't be for lambent fire, then you will be fine. And you will be able to get an extra blade off, which will do you... The favor if you really do so need it so let's waste no more time i'm now gonna go and go over the footage with you all and just talk you through it and that's pretty much it guys okay guys so i have sped up the footage because you don't want to sit here and watch all the animations but i do have storm blades on me i don't know why because he will hit you with a brimstone if you do that which is fine just don't do any fire or universal base because the boss will steal them just so you know a little bit of extra information if you decide to do this. But this is really the risk-free way of doing it. As you can see, we stun the mobs. 
I did have a second storm to Darkwind just as a substitute for an extra trap. It won't matter, you will kill the mobs anyway. They don't have a lot of HP. The reason you want to stun them is because if they do a normal attack on you, they will basically explode and it really does a lot of damage and you just don't want to eat it. That this Sun Serpent is doing can actually hit really hard. Um, but a few runs we did, it literally took most of my HP. Never killed, but yeah, it can hit really hard, so do bear that in mind. But as you can see, they're all stuns, so they can't do anything. He does this on himself, which is why you have to do the Mass Faint on round 2. Now I do Storm Lord. All the traps are going up, and now the Mass Faint is going up, and that really is it, guys. There isn't really much more to say about that. He will take off the uh, Faint if you do an uh, Indemnity Faint. That's why you have to do Mass Faint, because he will just ignore it for some reason. Did Darkwind again, but it doesn't really matter. And here comes the Storm Lord. Critical, which will not matter as you see. He has 20k HP, but we hit him for a nearly 40k, which is why I say he's quite flexible with what you actually do and whether you have mass faint or not. And there you go, 37k and a nice easy kill. So guys, I hope that helped and I hope you learned something if you wasn't able to do this boss before. Send this video to your friends if you are going to farm this because I'm sure it will make your life a lot easier, especially if you're doing multiple runs and you are trying to get them spellments leave a like on the video guys if it helped leave a comment down below if there's any other bosses you're struggling with and i'll do my best to make a video and help you all out that's going to be it from me today and until next time guys peace